Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you something in Bitwig that has bothered me since day one, and then a way to work around it, which is easy. But they should really implement this into uh, their later versions. I'm making a video about it finally, but this has been one of those things. So I have my VST here, my drum machine VST from D16. And the cool thing about this drum machine is it can you can have each of these set to a different output. They're known as groups, group out, and I have them all in here. Bitwig, you can uh, you can say add missing chains. It'll automatically add all of them. So you don't need to set them up, and you can have a different output for each chain. So I have them set up like so, and I have this uh, cool hi hat pattern, and I have my uh, side chain compression. So let's say I want to copy over this sidechain compression with the source. Look at that, with the source here. So I'll just go uh, Control C. Actually, I'll just go Control, a right click copy. So uh, no funny business. And I'm gonna go over to my other drum machine over here, which is uh, right here. And I'm going to paste that in. The device input is no longer there. It does not copy it over. Now this has been like this since day one, and it's just my workflow. I like to get a uh, uh, a compressor that works with the side chain of the kick, and I like to copy that over. It's pretty simple to work around this. What you do is you just go over to the um, the side chain that you like, the Dynamics processor that you like, and then you hit Control D to uh, duplicate, or you just right click and then hit duple. And then there it is, and then you can just drag that over, and then there it is, it copies it over. But for some reason, when you copy and paste it, it doesn't preserve what the source is. And uh, yeah, it's just a little thing that's, uh, that's always bothered me, and I think it warrants a video, like it's time to take a look at this and fix this. I, I assume it's a known issue. Um, something going on with the copy and paste, but yeah, you know what? I'd really appreciate it if that would, uh, if you could do, if you could do that uh, kind of workflow. You know, duplicating it is easy enough, but to actually copy and paste and move it around would be, uh, you know, pretty fun. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.